Welcome back to the channel guys, today we're going to reapply the liquid metal on this Xbox One X. Hi guys, so welcome back. I didn't get a chance to make a repair video last week, so I'm sorry about that, but I've got a spare half an hour now. I thought I'd make this video which is actually on my own Xbox One X. After about a year of owning it I noticed it was getting a bit loud, louder than it normally would be and so I've realized this pretty much straight away that it needed to be repasted and so liquid metal paste is far more conductive than normal thermal paste but there are some risks involved with liquid metal because it is a conductive, electrically conductive substance. So you have to be very careful when you apply it and you also have to be able to accept the risks should anything go wrong. Me being me, I was I was totally on board with it and you know I, I figured with the right preparation the risk would be minimized. So I went ahead and applied it. This I would say is now the fourth time I've had to apply it in four years. But before we get to reapplying the liquid metal, I just want to show you another modification that I've done to this console over the time that I've had it. So if we just turn it over. Now you're probably thinking, what on earth is going on here? So there's a gap between the fan and the motherboard that allows the air when the fan's spinning to be drawn in through these vents on the side. And there's also on the top of the fan, a few you can't really tell from the outside because of the grate, but there are a couple of three holes that are sort of that size within that circle there that I've, that I've, I've drilled out. So just so that you know, this part here that I've, that I've got here isn't original to the console. This piece of plastic, I got as a very cheap spare off eBay. So that's why I went ahead and did this. If it was the original part, I probably wouldn't have drilled the hole. It's only because it was a spare part and I figured it would be worth it for the experiment. So I'd say it worked, to be honest. I think overall it did work. It was a good experiment. And the only downside to doing this was that more dust went in, but it generally was much quieter than when it was just filled in and, and as normal. So yeah, interesting. I don't obviously recommend you go ahead and start drilling holes in your consoles, but it's worth me just showing you just, just as something a bit of interest. So there is another modification that I've done to this, but I can't show you that until we've opened it up. I'm just going to go ahead now and open this up. I'll speed it up as normal, but you're welcome to slow the video down if you want to watch me do it. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up and get us to the point where we can see the APU. And when we're there, I'll rejoin you. So while I'm here, I just thought I'd also just show you that I've done a SSD upgrade in this console as well. Uh, that's a two terabyte um, Samsung. And yeah, it's been really, really good to be honest in terms of load times and, and that kind of thing. As another note, we do actually offer this as a service. So if you want your Xbox or your PlayStation previous generation, um, you know, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox 360, if you want an internal drive, then we can do them for you. So definitely get in touch if that's something that you're interested in. Anyway, I'll carry on taking this apart now. Okay guys, so here we are. We're down to the APU now. Everything's been taken out. So here we are. And as you can see, it kind of looks a little bit different than what it would look like if it was just the old paste, especially on, if I just pick up this heat sink, can you have a look there? You can see that the, it's very shiny. Um, and what's actually happened there is the gallium in the liquid metal has actually reacted with the bare copper and created some kind of alloy in between. Um, it's not, it doesn't, doesn't really damage the heat sink as such, but in doing so, the gallium 
is a lot of the moisture in the liquid metal and therefore you end up with air holes and that's where the the lack of heat transfer and the issues arise this will be the fourth time reapplying this now it has taken years in between the applications for the noise to to come back but a lot of these other videos will say to you that you apply it once you never have to reapply it again in my case anyway that's completely full so i've had to reapply this this will be the fourth time so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to just clean the apu itself with some isopropanol alcohol um we'll just hand this up to the camera so we can have a look looks pretty pretty dirty so if i just go at it with some alcohol there and uh, i don't expect to get it completely clean with the the way that liquid metal is you, you you often get some residue it's not a problem it's just part of the part of the process i'll just clean around here as well looking a bit better than it did it's there's a bit of more of a shine to it but as you can see in the middle there there's some residue that i know for a fact won't come off that's just going to be there for good but as i said before it's not a problem all good so i think that's good enough there that's as smooth as we can get i just leave that to dry for a second and then we've got the heat sink as well and um, as you can see some has come off of the apu there on my cloth so i'm just going to put some more on the cloth so there we go so yeah i didn't really expect much to happen on the heat sink side at all to be honest this is the side where the liquid metal will react so you again that's probably as good as you're going to get stuff has come off but ultimately that's the the result of using liquid metal and that's that really you shouldn't really use it on pure copper but that's just how the heat sink is so what you would do if this was the first time i would be applying this on all of these capacitors here we would be protecting them with some kind of coating because liquid metal can drip off onto these capacitors and cause issues so i don't know if you can tell but you can see from in the past there i have coated them all they've got a bit of a shine to the surface there and that's where i've coated them especially at the bottom there you can tell i have already coated them with um i think it was nail polish which is good stuff to be honest for this kind of thing so again they're protected but if obviously you were doing this for the first time you would make sure not to um not not to forget to do that step so i'm going to just put the lid back on the alcohol and the stuff that i use the only stuff you should be using really is this thermal grizzly conductor or super stuff um i actually not 100 sure if i've got enough left actually um should have enough left i mean you only need a tiny little bit to apply it so i'm going to just test and make sure i have got enough so in terms of the amount that we're going to use here we're just putting a tiny tiny pin drop amount on and we're going to use one of these to spread it around the idea is you want coverage over volume so you want a minimal amount of volume but covering the whole chip now some people would put some liquid metal on the other side i've tried both over the years and i didn't really see a difference it was still only around about a year in between having to reapply it even if i put liquid metal on that side as well so i'm going to just put liquid metal on this side this time and we should be good to go so i'm going to start by putting a pin drop on there we've got a little needle type end and if you can give it a focus there we've got a little needle type end so we're just going to tie put it tied down a little bit on there hopefully got enough doesn't look like anything's coming out see if i can get any to come out without the lid on in fact we may be able just to take it a little bit off the end there i'll just try that so get that spread across so you can see there in the camera it's reflecting i've only just scraped a little tiny bit off the end there and look how much it's spreading across the chip it's not like normal paste it will go a lot further so i'm just spreading this around roughly for now but when i've got a bit more coverage i will 
take a look at it from a different angle and just see if we've uh, if we've covered everything properly but i believe that's going to be enough just that tiny tiny little drop so i'm just spreading this around here again it doesn't matter if it's lightly spread the idea is you just want to see as minimal amount as the chip underneath the, through the, the liquid metal as you can so this is spreading nicely but you can see as well with the consistency of it it's very it is very liquidy it's why it's very important to protect these capacitors around the the apu okay so like i say i believe that one tiny little pin drop has actually covered the entire surface of that chip which is really really good probably means i've got a couple more applications before i need to buy a new tube which is good just cleaning it up a little bit okay so i believe that's good enough now so i'm just going to put my lid back on as i've said i'm not going to apply any on this side this time but in the past it's never made a difference i'd rather save the liquid metal for the next application what i'm going to do now is i'm going to actually put it all back together i don't see the point in you watching me do that since you've watched me take it apart i'll um i'll put it all back together and i'll turn it on for about 10 15 minutes let it get nice and warm and i'll rejoin you there and we'll evaluate how successful this has actually been okay guys so it's all back together um, excuse the dirty finger marks that's just from me it's been playing a game now for about 20 minutes half an hour uh, and as you can hear it's pretty quiet i've got all the doors shut in here so you would expect to hear it quite loudly and you can't so yeah it's it's not it's not very loud at all now and the temperature of the air coming out of there is quite nice and warm so yeah i believe the, the heat transfer is working very very well so this has been a success i'll undoubtedly have to do it again in perhaps a year's time but i just wanted to show you guys the way that i do it and that it works basically so i hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one <laughs>